Yo, 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 what's happening, guys? Okay, so I'm doing another video for the new guys who are passing through to the channel that want to try and have an understanding of what these candlesticks are that I make reference to in every single stream and why they are so important, okay? Now, look, in front of you, my charts are not your normal charts, all right? They are nice, they are colorful, but every single aspect to this chart has a big meaning behind it, and I'm going to try and break it down for you as fast as I can. So here we go. There are green candles, blue candles, red and violet. And then, of course, we have the white and the greys. All right. Now, we make a lot of references to the green vector candle and the red vector candle and, of course, the blue and violet. But what are, what is their importance? What do they mean? Are they just simply green, blue and red and violet because I just like those colors? No. The candlesticks in the charts is specifically the hybrid represent the tick volume now tick is the amount of times price changes now there's a difference between tick volume and your conventional volume that you understand on how much volume is traded okay so how many contracts are changed and exchanged hands whereas with the tick volume it's how many times price moves in a particular zone okay so you can see the green vector candle itself right here shows that there has been more of an exchange of price in this area, which resulted in price moving higher. OK, same with the red vector candle. You can see that there's been a high exchange in this area to move price down lower. Now, the blue and the violets are the same thing, but it means that it's starting to increase. So the exchange of price at this zone right here is starting to increase. All right. Now, my charts are a little bit different. And of course, everyone else's charts most of the time are looking the same. For example, this is how people see candlesticks. The two main colors are green and red. Any meme that you see across the internet is going to be or relation to trading is going to be green candlesticks and red candlesticks. But there's so much more behind these candlesticks that people are not aware of yet. And this is what the hybrid is all about, is helping you understand what is behind the candlestick. Because the candlestick itself is a result of the exchange of interest behind the market maker trying to move to particular points in the chart where he is aware of the liquidity. OK, so here is an image for you that's taken from the discord. All right. And this is a cheat sheet. So whenever you see a green vector candle, it implies that the high buy volume. So it's above 200 percent or more. OK, likewise with the red vector, high sell volume, more volume than the previous 10 previous candles. OK, so the last 10 candle candlesticks itself it is saying that there is more volume here than there has been in the last 10 candlesticks. All right. Same with the blue vector above average volume. So it's starting to rise. Now, that's important. Just remember that the pink vector, well, it's actually violet, is above average sell, volume rising 150 percent. And then, of course, you have the stopping volume candle, typically a very small body, long pin stops volume in the current direction and typically signals an impending reversal or end to the current direction. OK, so here we go. The green vector. We know that the market maker likes to build his shorts at higher points in the chart. OK, so whenever you see the presence of a vector candle appearing at the highs, you have an understanding that he may be preparing to mark shorts at the highest possible point in anticipation to reverse price and drop it to the downside and recover that vector. Look at what happened. Price came up. The market maker built the shorts, hit the liquidation points for the shorts in this area and reduces price to the downside. The stopping volume candle, a blue vector, implies that they allowed price to go down lower, but then they would have encouraged an influx of shorts to come in at this point because they just hit the liquidation points for the shorts and they don't want them to go short just yet. They want them to believe that it's just a standard little pullback, a pin bar rejecting the range and it's going to continue higher. But that's not the case, because in this zone, you can see the blue vector implying that volume is starting to rise. So the market maker, in essence, is preparing to release his shorts because he's exchanging hands and exchanging price in this zone above average. OK, 
So he's starting to prepare things. Now, this is in relation to the vector candles. If you were to pull up a normal candlestick chart, you wouldn't know that. Okay? All you would have is just the basis of the candlesticks. Now, the pin bar would tell the retail trader that it, there is now a rejection in this range and it's now looking to go higher. So traders would go long. But then what happens? The market would initiate a move to the upside. I just got a message from Steve. A move to the upside, stop hunt rise, rejects the 800 EMA and the notable volume of the red vector candlestick comes into play and pushes price down. So they release the range. Volume is starting to increase in this candlestick. Remember the chart here. Pink vector above average sell volume rising. So it's moving price. And then there is the result. Price drops to the downside. Okay. Now, if you are new to the channel, the best way for you to understand how these candlesticks work is to go back in the chart. And for every green vector candle that you see, try and marry up a candlestick corresponding to the right. OK, so you can see draw off there. You can see it's recovered that green vector candlestick. Take the red vector candlesticks. Look to the right. Can you see it recovered? There it is right there. Because the notion is this. If the market maker is dropping price and volume is at its highest point in this zone, this is where he's encouraging retail traders to go short because he's hitting liquidation points of longs to the left. Because look, guys were going long in this range right here. They were committing liquidity and they were adding their margins in this area. So the market maker prepares price he goes short in these zones and then he returns back to those zones so that he can take advantage of all the liquidation points in the chart okay and notice how at the end of this area here you've got one two three hits to the low and here's a little trick for every notable area in the chart whether it's to the upside or to the downside that is where the market maker does his business where he in essence traps the traders and he does it in the presence of three look one two three hits to the high one two three hits to the low that is where you are seeing most of the vector candles appear okay likewise when you see blue vector candles and you see violet vector candles wherever those candlesticks appear in the chart it's an indication that something is starting to change all right that's an example right here they changed the direction, they dropped it to the downside. Because the principle is this, if volume is starting to rise at the same token of this blue vector, what if it means that the market maker is starting to slow it down? Because if he was going to try and move price and increase the value of it in this area here, and the candlestick would naturally look like it's starting to um, increase in size, you as the hybrid trader would turn around and say, OK, we're getting ready potentially for another move to the upside. But because we've got this area of resistance right here and the general overview of price action is showing a movement to the downside. All right you would have the understanding that maybe this candlestick, as much as it represents it's starting to rise, maybe the interest is starting to, to fall back by the market maker. So he's in essence got his shorts built in this zone and he may be looking to initiate a false move up and then drop it back down. Go back in the chart and you'll see it. You see it here. You see the same principle right here. No blue vectors, but the candlesticks, the green vectors here show that price moved up but it didn't go anywhere, all right? To the average retail trader, if he saw this as a normal candlestick, he would think it's a very bullish candlestick, but that's not the case. So that's how the green vectors, the blue and the red and the violet can help you in understanding how to work out if price is going to follow through to the next zone or if it's going to break down into the next zone, okay? I hope this video has served and I hope it's like, you know, short and sweet. And I'll be doing plenty more of these videos. If you are new, be sure to like and subscribe and hit me up any comments in the comment section. And if there's anything else that you guys want me to discuss. All right. And I will catch up with you in tonight's weekly update on Bitcoin. All right. Mad love and respect to all of you. Take care yourselves. Peace.